Larry, what the hell is it? Oh, Larry! Hell Spirit, so recently a tweet was sent out by Marvel announcing Midnight Sun's prequel shorts. So it got me thinking to make a part two, where I would share a similar opinion with new information and a message to Marvel and Disney. Without further ado. <laughs> So, I'm mad, like, I'm genuinely frustrated, it's because of the gaming market in terms of Marvel. There's been good games, utterly shit games, god I wish I refunded this sooner. And then there's the mobile games, where, get this, each and every game share a unique premise, an alternate timeline story. Which is precisely the problem I have in terms of how Marvel is treating it. <laughs> Bonnie, how do you keep getting back in? I'm a drunk. I don't know nothing about how I do anything. Oh! Now, I'm not the only one with the issue of Marvel making so many dumb RPGs, but it's just been killing me with every release Marvel puts out. Especially in a short time frame. But I think there's another issue people aren't really talking about, the whole alternate reality aspect, the gimmick of the games. And yes, I'm not kidding when I say most of these games share is an alternate reality gimmick, which for some reason is never used in actual television. For context, when it came to Marvel television, the shows were either hits or they were misses. But with Marvel's animated series, they were getting quite boring with the same characters. There was no variety besides style, some unique episodes and a few different faces added to the team. That was it. But with the RPGs, they used alternate realities to bring different characters into the games. Things like these heroes, new and familiar faces in Midnight Sun. They even used this gimmick in another game of this, with different and familiar characters in different outfits. But the animated shows? Nah, let's just recycle the Avengers team into a new style. Let's give Spider-Man more animated series that aren't half as good as spectacular. Let's recycle the X-Men team. I really could go on. Ow, 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 ow. I won't lie, most of these games look so interesting, alongside the animation and style in some of the RPGs. And yet, even when getting a show centered around alternate iterations, this being what if, that to me was more alternate MCU timelines than they were alternate realities. And Marvel's other shows, before What If, featuring different and alternate changes on the characters, were shows like Iron Man Armored Adventures, which had different and risky takes on the characters, Superhero Squad, which again was very risky. Marvel never actually gave us shows like these, and when they did, it was just a few episodes in an existing roster of shows. They never delivered us reality centered shows, instead, they were would always rehash the same characters, with the exception of different characters being added in, or again delivering terrible shows. Without letting the countless other Marvel characters I've legitimately never heard of any screen time. There must be countless comics of different stories. DC did the Injustice games, which were based off of the comics. Or, oh, well, that doesn't exist. Marvel have countless characters, whether old or new, and they are so rarely used in animated media. And when they're not, not a lot know they exist. <laughs> Now something the games, or really the trailers, share is really good animation. Whether they're CG or 2D, they move fluently and dynamically. As for the designs for the characters? Mm -hmm. They fucking rock. Which, ha, huh, get this, translate well in the game trailers. And no offense if you like these characters, but don't translate well with the show's counterparts. But it's sad this level of animation isn't being used for a Marvel animated show. And seeing these unique characters move and talk, seeing the alternate reality stories play out, whether 3D or 2D, I would love it either way. Now if Marvel were to make shows from this, which I highly doubt, I would expect the animation would be at a similar grade to that of the Midnight Sun shorts or the CG trailers. Because stories like these should not be saved for boring RPGs, they should be in an animated show format that everyone would enjoy. So when I say this, I mean no offense, but I would want to see a different story being told in an animated Marvel show, or even film. I don't want to see the same team, the same spider, or the same heroes over and over and over again. I would like to see a show dedicated to the different realities with new and familiar faces. 